Well, 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 well. It is the next day. Last night was a very eventful night. What what happened last night, Callum? The the number two candle went on. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. What happened to you last night? To me? Callum. I throwed up in the bowl and I throwed up in the kitchen. Yeah. So, even though it's a Monday, Daddy. he is home from school. And Elliot also started feeling Daddy. poorly. Daddy. And, um, and Papa started feeling poorly so Roman actually went to bed early last night and um, I think he's feeling a bit better today he's still working he's he didn't take time off or anything he's still uh, he's doing home office anyways but luckily I think for Roman he slept during the worst part of it so far Linnea is okay but she might we're keeping her home as well it's kind of like an extended weekend but we've already had four ornament casualties haven't we yeah, including the topper that goes on top of the Christmas tree before we even put it on the top of the tree. They were not like special ones. They were just um, like bulk red ones that we put on or like bulk silver or gold ones that we just had. So I think what I'm going to do is put away some of the really special irreplaceable ornaments. <laughs> Um, like the ones that I know I can't get another one of. I think what I might do is put some of those away back into the box because I just don't want to risk it. The night bus. The night bus. Yeah, you completed it. Looks really good. <laughs> Look what crazy head is that. Oh, he's in it. Oh, that's the little, oh, that's so cool. I didn't, I never, I didn't know that that little head was in it. All right, so this is gonna be the last time for the year that some of these are on the tree. You know, like this that one. Christmas? No, like that one, which is my airplane from when I moved to Germany. That one when I was pregnant with Callum. Just, you know, Elliot's first Christmas. Just, you know, some of the, the ones that we cannot replace. Oh, yeah. Like Berlin. The Brandenburg Gate. We worked on decorating the, not just the tree. Um, I did end up putting up, I did end up taking off some of the breakable, irreplaceable ornaments. Um, we just, we have so many, so I figured it was okay. And then... We ended up putting some garland in the window right there. This little guy has been, whoo, what a day. What a day, huh? What a day. So what I want now the three of you, what I want the three of you to do is look on the floor and we're gonna hunt for white, teeny tiny white pieces of paper. Anything that Elliot could start chewing on. <laughs> Good job, you found one. We were gonna do like a snowflake garland where you know we cut out paper snowflakes. It was gonna be this fun little thing. And then Elliot started melting it. down, and then like Callum no, was like all over the place and didn't want to sit and cut. And Linnea was no. getting frustrated because what she wanted to do wasn't quite working out with the scissors. And it was just like it just turned out to be something quite chaotic. So, um, I had to put Elliot to sleep first. <laughs> and Calum and Linnea just sort of played with scissors and paper and Roman was working here in the living room with them. And then, and I was just like, okay, we're just gonna have to restart. We, we need to, we need a reset. Um, so come here, you come to me, you come here. Oh, God. no, come here, come here. So I told the kids that we could watch a little show. They haven't watched anything today. Ooh, do you guys wanna turn out the lights? Linnea, do you wanna go try, turn out the light? Oh, that was so good! You guys did it together. So now we've got now we've got the Christmas lights that are providing our light. So we don't have to turn on the big light, huh? It's pretty. It's really pretty in here. So we settled on Daniel Tiger, which is great because I love Daniel Tiger. <laughs> So 
he's resting. And we're watching Daniel Tiger. <laughs> yeah, your mama. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Well, your eyes don't look nearly as red and sick as you have, as they have been in recent days. Um, yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh, this is all so hot. Hold on, lovey. Elliot's having breakfast right now. Um, he still doesn't have much of an appetite, so we're just gonna, we're just watching and I'm, I'm having a cup of coffee. Do you guys hear that? I just hear baby chewing. I don't hear messes being made. I don't hear fights. I don't hear questions. <laughs> I don't hear anything. It's so nice for my senses. <laughs> Oh my gosh, well, Callum went back to school today. He's totally fine. He feels so much better. He hasn't thrown up in days, so he he went back to school. And Linnea, Linnea was never sick, but we kept her home as more of a precaution. Well, <laughs> we just had a full on meltdown at the table. He was just like, no, I'm not eating. I'm, uh, And that's fine. I'm not gonna push him because he hasn't been feeling well the last few days. Um, he did he did go to the doctor and the doctor checked him out and she was like, you know, he's just got a virus. He's just there's not a whole lot you can do for it other than to just kind of keep him hydrated. She checked him out when she looked at his eye, his eyes. He hasn't thrown up, but he's super irritable, very clingy, very fussy, very just like every little thing really stresses him out and bothers him. I think he needs this time alone to kind of recharge his own little baby batteries. And to be honest, I need it as well. But the kids get a lot of physical activity, a lot of physical activity. I would say by far more than the average child. They run around our garden, they run around at the playground, they, you know, there are times for sitting and doing things indoors. And obviously now that it's winter, those indoor activities are becoming more prevalent. But even still, making sure that they're outside playing, even you know, even if it's raining outside, even if it's cold, just making sure that they're outside every day. Even still, they're just, it's so loud <laughs> when they're home because our home is so small. It is so small. And I know that people live in smaller spaces, but for us, it like I know when they go off to school, Roman and I just suddenly feel like there's this like noise that's been lifted and we're able to just sort of focus on things in a much different way. And, you know, I always think to myself, why, why am I, like, why do I feel this sense of relief when they go back to school every week? Like, why do I feel that way? I mean, am I a bad mom? Am I, you know, like, I, I do a lot of soul searching when it comes to this stuff because I want to make sure that I'm fully present with my kids. But I think that's why, because I'm fully present with my kids. And you know, when they're home, they literally get 100% of me. I'm not, I'm not on a phone, I'm not distracted. If I'm not making meals for them or like changing out a load of laundry, I am at their beck and call and I'm doing what they wanna do. And if they wanna play a puzzle or do a puzzle or play a game, my gosh, we're doing it. And so what I think it, what I think it is is that I need a lot of downtime to just process the noise and to, like have time to pick things up and when they're home, it's louder, it's busier, it's messier. It's just, there's a lot. It's a lot coming into the senses and I don't have a lot of time or ways to um, really just let a lot of that go. I don't have a lot of downtime to just sort of like decompress a little bit. So for me, them going to school is that decompression of just, like, whew, okay, now it's quiet, now it's quiet. Now I can gather my thoughts and like do, <laughs> you see Papa? <laughs> Roman just got home. Um, I can decompress a little bit and not feel, not feel so, um, oh, I guess like my senses are heightened, you know, because I'm like seeing so much and I'm hearing so much. But come Friday, come Friday, I miss them so much during the week 
that when Friday rolls around, I'm um, just so ready to have them home. So I don't think it makes you a bad mom to need that quiet or you know, when you're feeling really overwhelmed. I don't think it makes you a bad mom if you feel that way too um, at all. <laughs> I think it just means that you're, you're very present and you give so much of yourself when your kids are home that you know when they're gone that's when you're able to take that breath for yourself and just have a bit of quiet time when you're not you know playing or building something or cleaning something or just whatever you're able to just sort of have a thought on your own as an individual and that's important that's important too so see you on your computer <laughs> Are you working with Papa? Are you working with Papa? No. Well, it has been an, event, an eventful day. Um, look at all this stuff that I'm sorting through. Clothes that are too small for Elliot and Linnea and Callum. I have to figure out what to do with them. Do you want to be in the vlog? Yeah? Okay. I'm today sick. Yeah, this little one's snuggling. She went to bed very, very, very early. I didn't allow to eat tacos. That's why I didn't want to eat tacos. That's mm -hmm. why I wanted fasted a bit. Yeah. Well, we wake. We woke. We tried to wake you up and see if you were hungry for dinner, but you didn't want dinner. And we had tacos tonight, so it was probably a good thing that you didn't eat dinner. You said, "No, mommy, I just want to sleep." And I said, "I think she's got what everyone else had." And you slept, and then you just got sick, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she's got a little bowl right here by her bed. Here's our family sick bowl, if I anybody want, is wondering. <laughs> you want some water? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've also got some water for you right here. There you go. I'm sorry you don't feel well. Sleep socks on? Yeah, I'll get your sleep socks on, okay? Mm -hmm. So she's gonna go to bed, but she's got her, she's got her beautiful princess canopy that we love, huh? Mm -hmm. In your special princess bed. Mm -hmm. Do you feel cozy in this bed? Mm -hmm. We all needed cozy socks on, so I'll get your cozy socks on for you, okay? 